The business I have chosen to start up is a cleaning business. It is a domestic cleaning business, as the domestic cleaning doesn't require huge startup costs due to the simple nature of the service. The business is about a cheap and efficient service which aims to do a thorough job as well as a cleaning service which listens to the customers and is easily able to satisfy requests such as spending more time on one specific area. This business can be successful as there is a market and a demand of cleaning services and it would cover more than your average cleaning service such as an outside work if requested and even a window cleaning service. This means the customer will not have to search for other businesses to carry out these tasks, as they can all be done by the one company, which creates conveniency and will save the customer money in the end, while allowing the cleaning business to enter more markets and therefore be more successful. If all the business does is clean a house, then it is more likely to have more competition. But if the company with which the customer is comfortable with, it can do more, can do more, then it removes a large amount of competitors. A good cleaning service can also be hard to find in Melbourne, especially an efficient and quality one. So if one can be created which does it better than the others, then there is no reason that the business can't be successful. This business will be a sole proprietorship as a cleaning business only has low startup costs due to the simple nature of the business. With $20,000, cleaning supplies, a car, and simple advertising is easily attainable as well as small rent paid for an office for business purposes. Sole proprietorship is a good way to go, as it is easy to set up due to being just one person behind it, as the, and they are responsible for the debts, and they are not that high, so $20,000 should be more than enough. It also allows control for the sole proprietor, which is good, because a direct and succinct idea is needed for a business of this type. It is also makes it easier to control the accounting side of this business, as it allows for the funds to be run by one person and it allows it to be done out of a small office which is cost effective and also very efficient. It also allows the owner to invest money back into the business if needed and no money is taken out because the one owner can just take a small wage each, each week and does not mean that money is being taken out of the profits which will hinder the growth of the business in the long run. It can also create a good environment for the customers as they are comfortable with the owner of the business who is doing the cleaning in their house, which is a personal place. So if the customers are comfortable with one owner, then it's more likely to be successful, unlike if there are two or three owners, which is less likely for them to trust them and obviously would make it less successful. Our service will differentiate, differentiate between competitors as it will offer more than most com other competitors, saving time for customers and also allows them to become more comfortable with our service. As cleaning can be quite a personal service, as we will be dealing with their house and their personal belongings, a certain level of trust needs to be developed. This will separate us from businesses as well as keeping an open dialogue with clients as to know which parts of they want cleaned further and whether they want extra services such as windows cleaned or the leaves swept. These aren't overly complex tasks but it goes the extra yard to gain the clients and retain them which is extremely important. Efficiency is also a major factor as the quicker the cleaners are able to do their job the more convenient it is so we hope to be superior to our competitors in that respect. The industry is somewhat competitive, but especially in higher to middle class areas, there is always a demand for cleaners, and especially in areas with, lots, with a lot of small businesses and retail businesses, there will be a demand for cleaners who are efficient and cheap. As the population grows by more than two, grew by more than 2.3% in Melbourne just in 2017, there is a ma and a major portion of those being skilled immigrants, there is a huge demand for cleaners, especially the skilled immigrants who will be working full time and do not have time to do domestic work as, as such as cleaning their houses or apartments. Along with that, more and more property is being developed, which means more and more property needs to be cleaned and there's obviously more areas for the industry to grow. One of the main marketing strategies used for promoting this business will be social media and having an online presence. Not only is this strategy free, such as having a Facebook page or advertising on websites such as Gumtree, it is fast becoming one of the most effective marketing strategies, as now 8 in 10 Australians use social media, with a third of them checking social media 5 or more times a day, which is a volume which cannot be matched anywhere else. Along with that, 64% of 
consumers are more likely to trust a brand if it interacts with it positively on social media. Along with that, we will build a website which allows people to see clearly what the service we provide and the prices we provide it at, just making it cheaper and making it easier and more convenient for the customers. It is important as a startup business that large amounts of money is not spent on marketing as that will diminish the overall standard of the service. Through social media and word of mouth, the business will be able to grow sustainably over a period of time without growing too quickly and not being able to keep up the volume of the work and still remaining at an efficient a standard we aim to keep. The perks of a cleaning business is it can be advertised as a Melbourne's cleaning service as well and not located in one specific area so you don't feel like you're ge geographically excluded from our business. The sales are going to be pretty consistent year round, uh, only time changing as we employ more people or increase in the marketing uh, to gain more clients. But there's not one time of year where the business will drop off or increase due to the seasonal times. One of the positives of the cleaning business is the low skill level required to carry out the service. And for some of the tasks, these skills can be easily improved. Due to this, the wages for the employment are relatively low, as no degree or education is required to be a cleaner. This allows more employees to be, to be employed and therefore can increase the efficiency of the cleaning and allows more jobs to be completed and that increases the profit. The business will start out with just the one employee and as more clients are gained, more and more employees will be gained, will be employed until two to three teams can be um, employed so that multiple jobs can be carried out at once. The equipment required is pretty cheap and standard. It mostly consists of your standard cleaning items such as a mop, broom and the continual purchase of cleaning products, which is cheap and can be purchased very frequently. A small office will be rented out at a standard Melbourne rate of $300 a month. This is relatively cheap and allows for a business to be conducted at a good place and a good place for the storage and equipment of work vehicles.